Hey, this is David. Today we're gonna to go over the Airport International version two. Uh, just brought, just got back from Las Vegas and thought I might do a review on this bag. It's still fully loaded and I'll show you everything, uh, all the different features that it has and the things that I really, really like about it. So first off, um, if you could see the bottom here, it's very, it's got the plastic coating right here, plastic underneath, so it's very sturdy, very good wheels at the bottom here, um, very smooth, very soft, easily when you're rolling it you can feel that it, it, it's really uh, solidly put together. Uh, on the back here, the first thing, go over here is the lock. There's a locking mechanism, combination lock, so if you wanted to lock it in your hotel that would be uh, an option. You can also, one thing that I use it for is when I'm I have an SUV and when I have it in the, in the vehicle, uh, I lock it down. That way if anyone were to try to break into the vehicle and grab it and run, they're gonna uh, have this uh, holding them back and that might deter them from continuing to try to take the bag. So it's a great feature there. Um, right here, if we go ahead and look, this is the handle. Handle comes up and you can roll it away. So there's that. Um, there's also a little, if you can see this here, it's a little compartment here where you can put business cards, which I think is a, a neat little feature. An opening here with zipper. These are all YKK zippers, by the way, so very, very sturdy, very good. You can slide in um, passport, something like that, if you needed to, any important documents. So they're, they're at the ready if you need to uh, access them real quick. Uh, there's a serial number on all the bags and you can register that serial, uh, serial number at Think Tank. So I think that's pretty cool. So they'll know who the bag belongs to um, in case if you were in a situation where you misplaced your bag and someone decided to call Think Tank and, and get you your bag back, then you have that. So I think that's really great. Uh, before we look at the top, let's look at the side here. This is, and I put this part of it on because I was trying it out. Uh, first off, there's a little, a little uh, pocket here. So if you do have a tripod, you can stick two legs in here and then have the other leg just hang out if you want to um, hook it that way. Or there's a little pouch, and I'll show you the pouch when I open up the bag where you can hook the tripod that way. I tried to use the pouch. I uh, wasn't really happy with it. it. It just felt like it was a little too flimsy and it got in the way, so I decided to uh, just throw my uh, tripod in my um, my checked luggage. So not really that concerned about tripods breaking and things like that, so I have no problems putting those in the um, checked luggage. So look at the top here. It's a little a flexible elastic uh, pocket where you can slide a tri or slide a, a laptop. I put my 15-inch laptop in there; it fit easily. I think this is great because when you're going through airport security, they always want you to take out your um, your laptop. So this works really well. Uh, this system because you just slide it in there, take out your laptop, slide it right back in, and you're on your way. So I think that's really great. Uh, up here, you also have. Just a little compartment, and in this compartment, you have yet again another combination lock. This is for your laptop, so if you wanted to lock your laptop down. And then you have these two see-through pouches with zippers, so if you want to put little things in there like uh, lens caps and lens cleaners and all that kind of stuff, you can throw them in there. Uh, down here, you can put pins, you have little slots here to put anything that you would want to put in there. Uh, envelopes or papers and things like that. Uh, pixel pocket, this doesn't come with the bag, however, uh, I think this is uh, something that you should consider buying. It just allows you to put uh, your your cards in there, your SD cards or your uh, flash cards. And you can also slip in some uh, business cards on the back, so that's pretty cool. So that's that. And we'll make our way around. Now to the inside of the bag. And I'll show you the gear that I use. Uh, actually, before I even do that, I just want you to see, and I guess I have to close this up a little bit. It's 
far as the handles go, they did a really good job of putting handles on pretty much all sides. The only side that doesn't have a handle is, oh, actually, I take that back. There's a handle on, the, on every side of the bag. So you have a handle here. So if you're putting it into an uh, overhead uh, compartment, you can grab it from here to pull it out, pull it out. You can grab it from here to pull it out. You can also grab it from here to pull it out. And then you can grab it from the bottom to pull it out. So, I, I mean, that's just excellent design because you could be in situations where you put your bag in the overhead and you know how people start moving things around and then your bag ends up being in a position where you can't just pull it out. And um, I pack my bags pretty heavy, so I have a lot of stuff in here. So it's not that easy to move it around and, and, and pull it out. So anyhow, um, one more thing that I wanna talk about right before we go in is there is another combination lock up here. Um, and it also has the uh, TSA approved lock so that if they needed to get in uh, gate access, they can. Um, all you do right here is you have your two um, zippers, you slip them in here, they lock. And then when you wanna take it out, uh, then you just press these together and it'll pop open. So this is another deterrent. It, um, like I said, it's not foolproof, but it does at least slow someone down if they're thinking about doing something, uh, taking something out of your bag. So very, very good. This is another angle too. We can show you the wheel. Very smooth. Um, nice wheels that they have on this, these bags. Okay. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what's in here. And like I said, I had it packed for a Vegas trip and um, let's take a look. First thing we want to look at here, or I want to show you here is the compartments up top, uh, all zipper. They all have zippers on them and it's see-through, which I think is really good because all, you can see everything that's in there. You don't have to open up a compartment and look through each one to find out, find what you need. So that's really, really great. Um, and so that's that. Uh, when it comes down to my gear, uh, let's see where should we start. I guess we'll start with the cameras. Um, I have a 70 here. It's a battery grip with this uh, Tokina 11, or I'm sorry, Tokina. 100 millimeter macro lens, very, very good lens, especially if you want to shoot uh, things up close, uh, as well as portraits. This is a pretty good portrait lens as well. So good lens there. Um, have that in this compartment here. This is Think Tank's rain jacket or raincoat. It's a great feature. They have them in all their bags, it's great. And here, I think I just have some uh, filters and things like that. Yeah, just filters. Okay, so I just throw those in there. I don't use filters that often, but I do have uh, the Koken filters if I need to use them for any reason. Sometimes I will use them. I might as well go over the other filters that I have. So this is just uh, another little bag with filters in there. Neutral density filters, probably the filter that I use the most if I use any, if at all, using any of them. That's what I'll use. Um, here we go. So 430EX2, it's the uh, flash that I use. I also have another flash. This is just uh, one of those young UO um, flashes. Works pretty well actually for, for the money. It's like 60 or 70 bucks and it's, it's, it, it works well. It does what it needs to do. So no TTL on it, but uh, you can't have everything. Another camera here is the G15. This is a really good camera. As a matter of fact, I just got this a few months ago, right when it released, and I'm very, very happy with it. I use it for a lot of my time lapse because it has the uh, remote. You can do uh, intervalometer uh, time lapse with this. So this is great. Really, really happy with this camera. Uh, the only downfall or downside of this camera is that it doesn't have um, doesn't have audio out. So I can shoot video with it. <clears throat> I use my H1 with it and that then didn't then I just sync up the video but sync up the audio with the video but it's a very very good camera. I'll be doing a review on this uh, shortly. And I was talking about the tripod pouch. 
And this is it. So I, I just leave this in here just in case I need to use it for whatever reason. See, I'm going out on the shoot and I need to bring my tripod. I can always hook it into that. So um, let's go over the second camera. Forgot about this one. This is a 60D. Very good camera. Very happy with this camera. It has the articulating screen, which I really, really like. That's probably this camera I use more than than the rest of my cameras, mainly because of the articulating. When I'm shooting landscape and stuff like that, it just makes it so much easier when you when you have this articulating screen. So that's great. I'm using the 11 to 16 uh, Tokina 2.8 lens, this is a great. This is my favorite lens by far when it comes to landscapes. Uh, it, it just it, it's amazing as far as what it can do. It's very sharp. It is the best. I consider it the best uh, wide angle um, crop sensor lens. So that's what I use for most of my landscape work. Um, we're going over here. This is my favorite portrait lens, uh, 70 to 200, uh, 2.8 L lens. This is, uh, this is my Canon lens. This is a really good lens. Really, really sharp, really fast focusing. Um, Great lens. So if we look, continue looking, I have an intervalometer here that I use. Like I said, I do a lot of time lapse with uh, the G15, so I'll use this for that, or use this with that. I think I just have uh, just chargers there. Um, this compartment here, I usually put an H1, plus I have Sennheiser mics that I use for video, so I put those in there. And what's in here? Oh, this is just uh, external mic, or external mic, I'm sorry, external external hard drive that I use. Uh, so when I'm on the road, I'm able to uh, fill that up. So that's pretty much how I pack, or how I pack for this Las Vegas trip. And, and like I said, they come with, this uh, bag comes with a variety of different um, inserts here that you can use to pretty much form it the way that you want it. Uh, it's a really, really great bag. Like I said, it's solid. A uh, little bit pricey, but you have to factor in that it has a lifetime warranty as well as uh, it's probably, I mean, it's gonna last, it's gonna last forever. So you're buying this for as, you're buying this as a bag that you're gonna use for probably the life of your, your equipment and everything else. So it's really, really worth it. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, uh, please post them. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.